Hi, welcome to Microsoft Build 2017. My name is Vladimir Postel and I am a PM in the App Model team. Today we're going to talk about how to add an in-app purchase flow to your current desktop application. It can be any app, WPF, WinForms, MFC or even VB6. We will leverage the desktop bridge technology for that. The desktop bridge creates, creates you an easy path to a UWP to the universal Windows platform and to the Windows Store. If you build a desktop application, you know how hard it's to monetize it. You have to create a website, establish a payment account, and promote the site all the time. With the desktop bridge, you can package your application as an Apex and submit it to the Windows Store. You can reach 400 million users by doing that. You can also have a simplified and trusted deployment and add new scenarios to your application by leveraging the universal Windows platform APIs. And in this session, we're going to leverage one of these APIs, which is called in-app purchase flow, and add it to, to our application. So this is uh, going to be our demo application. It's a simple WPF photo app that we're going to add an in-app purchase flow to it. So let's go to Visual Studio and see how it works. So as you can see, this is our app. In the middle, uh, you can see three projects here. In the middle, it's our WPF app that most of the code is here. On the top, you can see the packaging project that basically help us to package the, this application as an Apex to be able to submit it to the Windows Store. Below is our debugging project that helps us to debug our app. I'll add in the end of this session a reference on how to add these projects to your solution. It's really easy. So before we add in the code, a uh, new code to our app, let's see how it works. So I'm hitting F5 and uh, let's deploy our app. So it's deploying. And here we go. So it's an easy photo store app. You can add the uh, photos to, to the cart and upload it to the server. And if you can, you can see the enable button here. This is where we're going to add the in-app purchase flow. These buttons currently are disabled and will be enabled just for the advanced user who will purchase this, uh, these features. And this is how we're going to make some money on our app. So currently when I press the enable button, it's doing nothing. We're going to add also a notification when we upload the, the photo to the, to the server so we will be more engaged with our users. So let's go back to the slides. So before writing a, a new code for the in-app purchase flow, uh, important note, you have to register as a dev, as a developer in the dev center if you didn't do it before and package your app as an Apex, like I said before, and submit it to the Windows Store. Then you can go ahead and add an in-app purchase flow. So for the in-app purchase flow, the first thing that we have to do is uh, create durables and consumables. And what are durables and consumables? So durables are things that you're going to use through the whole lifetime of the application. These things usually used for to unlock advanced feature in your application or to move to the next level in games. Consumables are something that you uh, purchase again and again during the lifetime of the application and they are um, uh, usually used in games for coins or tokens. So let's go to the dev center and create a durable for our app. So this is our app in the dev center and if you uh, press the add-ons button here you can see the create add-on here. So I'm going to hit this create add-on and as we create a durable I'm going to select the durable here. I'm going to uh, call it photo advanced feature and I'll hit create add-on. Then I'll start the submission in the Windows Store.
then I'm, I'll, I'm going to fill the properties for this durable. I'm going, I'm going to go with the defaults here and select software as a service and hit save. The next thing, I'm going to set a price for our durable. So our durable is going to be free, but as you see, you can imagine any price here. Then I'm going to hit save. And then I'll select the language for our, um, for our listing in the store. I'm going to hit manage language. And as you can see, there is a lot of language here. Because uh, we, when you submit your app to the Windows Store, you can actually uh, target 242 markets. And it's pretty impressive. So I want to select the English for the United States. So let's find it. Here we go. Then I'll hit update and save. And the last thing that I'm going to do is basically for this language set the title. So it's going to be photo. Oh, sorry. Photo advanced. Advanced feature. And I'm going to hit save. And that's it. We are ready to submit it to the store. So I'm submitting it to the store, and the process will immediately begin. Now let's go back to, the, to our deck. So now we can go ahead and add the actual APIs to our application. So this is the main APIs for the in-app purchase flow. The first one is get associated store products async that basically fetch all the durables and consumables that we have in the dev center. Then the request purchase async that's going to basically purchase our durable. And the get app license async gets the license to make sure we acquired this durable already to not repurchase the same thing again. And we're going to add a notification, as I said, uh, when we update, um, when we upload the photo to the, to the server. So let's go back to Visual Studio and add some code. And I'm going to unmark these namespaces because I'm going to use those. Let's make some more space here. So this is the functions that uh, we are going to implement for this feature, for this flow. The enable button, as you saw before, going to uh, un unblock the advanced feature for our users. So we're going to implement this. The initialize add-on list going to fetch all the durables for the dev center. And the update tile, we're going to update our tile when we succeeded in the in-app purchase flow to be more engaged with our users. So I'm going to go ahead and mark these functions and unmark here the implementation. And in a second, I will go with you over this uh, line by line. Let's unmark also our notification here. So the first thing that we, are gonna, uh, that we are doing here is get the store context. The store context is important to call any store API. Then we define the add-ons array here that's going to store all our durables that we fetch from the dev center. Then this is the initialize with window function. This is very important function for the desktop bridge apps. It basically connects our WPF with the universal Windows platform. And if you're uh, familiar with UWP pure development, you don't have to use it. 
in the initialized function, the first thing that I'm doing is getting the license to basically make sure that we didn't purchase this durable before. If we didn't, then we're going to fetch the get associated store products async. We're going to call this function to get all the durables that we created. Then we're going to add it to the array that I defined just a second ago, the add-ons array. And this is our enable uh, function that's going to start the in-app purchase flow and going to purchase this uh, durable. And this is the implementation. So again, these two lines here, the first two lines, uh, we need them to connect the WPF with the UWP. And this is the main API here, request purchase async. Once succeeded, we're going to update our tile here. And the update tile is just a few lines of code. You see how easy it's to add an, a tile to your application. And this is the notification that we're going to uh, show once we hit the upload button. And it's also, as you can see, it's really few lines of code. So let's compile it and see how it works. So I'm going to compile it. And now I'm going to deploy it. Here is breakpoint. Everything is real here. So now when I add a picture to, the, to my card and upload it, look what happens. Boom, we have a notification. We can interact better with our users this way. And once I hit the enable button here, we're going to start the purchase. So we have to authenticate. Now that we authenticated, we should see our durable. Here we go. This is our advanced photo feature durable. So it's uh, zero um, dollars, but you can imagine any price here and uh, how you can make money with your application. <laughs> so I'm going to hit get here. And here we go. Our advanced feature are enabled now. We can rotate our picture. We can black and white it or even crop it. We can undo. So as you can see, we have advanced feature. Now when I pin my app to the, to the tile here, pin to start, here we can see that the purchase succeeded with the timestamp that we just did. So to summarize, you saw how easy to add an in in-app purchase flow to your current desktop application and to submit it to the Windows Store. I added a few references from, for you here to learn more about the desktop bridge, how to package your app uh, as an Apex we, uh, directly from Visual Studio. There, we have a lot of samples that shows a, uh, advanced scenarios that you can introduce to your app on GitHub. And it's not just in our purchase flow, you can add many more uh, scenarios to your application. And recently we recorded also a course in Microsoft Virtual Academy that goes in details uh, on all aspects of the desktop bridge. So check it out. Uh, so modernize your application and submit it to the Windows Store. Thank you.